All right. We're back. Steve, Black Manta. Black Manta. Very exciting. His trailer, uh, I was recently at the Games Not Manager show in Las Vegas, and we showed that trailer to the room, and uh, yeah. the walk-off. Yeah. The walk-off gets everybody going. Yeah. So, he's a fun character. He's really cool. You've been playing a lot. You, you're pretty yeah. good with him. I actually have always wanted Black Manta. I've always thought he's a super cool villain. He's so ruthless. He's so unashamedly evil. Mm-hmm. And I like that it's just a dude in a suit with a vengeance. So I've always wanted him in the game. And I've always wondered, ultimately he's cool, but it's an aquatic villain in a land-based game. What do you do? And our design team, man, they figured it out. They figured it's it out. It's cool, yeah. So let's, uh, let's, I, let's show Black Manta. All right. And you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna go cannon? I'm going to go cannon. Cool. Throne room. I didn't pick throne room. That's okay. <coughs> So Black Manta, basically, the idea is, for his normal attacks, he uses these blades. It's kind of like a Navy SEAL stuff, like, a lot of slashing attacks. Talk real quickly for me, uh, what is his sort of, like, place in the meta? What is he, what is he good at? I would say he is really, really good at mid-range combat. He's, he's pretty good up close, and I think he really excels from, like, the start of the round or a little bit out of it. Gotcha. So let's start with his back three. His back three is super cool. He actually summons water and it has really good range. And it just looks awesome. That's really cool. His four three is similar to like Starfires where it's not actually that fast, but it comes out really fast. It's a fast animation. And then uh, we can go over moves. Yeah, his back one, this is to me one of his key moves. It's a very, very fast, long range move. You can see it hits at the start of the round. And it's nine frames and it leads into two quick hits. And this is the full string. And his standing two. Again, you see a lot of these really fast knife attacks. They're really good for breaking armor and staggering. His two down three ends in a low, and then you can cancel into a special move. Another key normal is his forward two. You, you know, I, I talked about his range. This is one of the key. Like, this is a, I would call this a, a good footsie tool. It's safe on block, the last hit's an overhead. It also has one of the coolest sound effects in the game. His head clanking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then he has back two too, which is a low and an overhead. Pretty good range. Pretty fast for a low attack. He doesn't really have like an unreactable overhead, a super fast overhead. So it's not so much like a 50-50 tool, but it's a great move to start your pressure. Awesome. Here's his throw, which is one of the coolest oh, in the game. I love his throw. Do the other one. It's just brutal. The backstabbing is so good. His uppercut's pretty good. He uses a prop, which is always good. His sweep is super cool. I-beam. Jump attack I-beam. A really good jump, too. All right, so special move. So, yeah, I would say... Um, I think he's a character where his normals are... He kind of hovers around this range... Looks for mistakes with punishes, or just goes in and starts pressure with his special moves, which I'll show in a second. Um, from a distance, it's all about this move, or jumping in, or dashing in. I think basically he's going to be one of those characters, like uh, you'll use this move like Black Adam's 4-1 or Superman 4-2. Like, he all, he'll round range you, and he'll be able to close the gap really quickly with his normals. Awesome. So special moves. We'll start with Manta Rays which is a multi-hitting kind of mid-range projectile. The meter burn version is extended and it's safe on block, so you can use it like a block string and it'll always be safe on block. It's not a full screen projectile. It's not really meant to be like a zoning tool. It's more like you can use mid-range if you think they're gonna dash in or you can injure combos or it's a way to, you know, end a juggle combo. Then he has shark attack, which is a really fast torpedo. And this is kind of like a Superman Superman punch style move, or a Raiden Torpedo, where it's a great whiff punisher, it's a great combo ender, it's also his wake up attack. So it's a high risk, high reward, well high risk, low reward wake up attack. And if you meter burn it, it extends. And this is going to be one of your key juggle enders. You can also do this in the air. And you can still extend it there. Nice. So then he has his harpoon gun. Oh, another normal I forgot, which looks super cool. Just beating you with the end of his <laughs> harpoon rifle. So he has a harpoon gun, and um, 
This is not a traditional like zoning tool, but it's a lot faster than you think. It has really, really good recovery, and it's kind of a great full screen check. Like it's it's not like a fireball that you'd spam, like a Dr. Fate kind of fireball, but it's really good to kind of do, and if they're trying to like dash in to get into the range of your normals, you can use it. You can meter burn it and get additional damage. And if they have, it's a high, and if they happen to duck it, the recovery is pretty good. It's going to be uh, pretty hard to whiff punish. Not impossible, but pretty hard. It's, it's definitely one of those great moves where you can just kind of do it and keep the opponent like patient, wanting to walk in. And then you can walk into your range, and then you're good to go into your 4-2 range. Gotcha. He also has an air version, which, again, is, is pretty quick, pretty decent recovery when it whiffs, and he has two versions. He can, he can hold down, and it'll be a little bit closer. And the meter burn is super cool. Stomps on him. And again, I think this is a great space control move to use full screen. And the opponent's going to have to slowly walk in. And then when the opponent gets to here, you can go into back one. Cool. Um, it's also a great combo in here. So, uh, let's go into his torpedoes. He has these shoulder cannons. And these, like, really complement his mid-range. You put them out, and then... They don't track the opponent, they always go in this space, but it kind of covers this whole like mid-range thing. If they happen to jump, they're going to get hit. If they're standing, they're going to block them, and then they're safe. And then the meter burn is two, it also launch. So this is one of his key combo starters, for example. And then you get the pop-up, you get the back three, and you get your jumper combo. So I think these are going to be good as combo starter, as space control, and then block pressure. You can kind of do stuff like this. And then, you know, they're going to respect that, and then you can do the whole string. Or you can use his character power, which I'll show in a minute. And the thing about the rockets is, if you hit him, if you see that he's doing them, and you poke him out of them, the rockets will fly away. So it's not guaranteed pressure. They're yeah, not we, like, were, we were playing earlier, and there's a couple times where I was right. going to get through it, and I thought I was going to get hit. Cause yeah, they'll yeah, actually fly off. There's certain, you know, there's certain things in the game where you'll actually get hit in those situations. Those right. are gone. These yeah. are not. And that's the way they're balanced. But the nice thing is... As usual, you know, it's a conditioning thing. If the opponent's looking for the rockets, that's going to free you up to do his other pressure, his throws and stuff like that. Um, he also has a teleport move. And this is a great anti-zoning tool. So if you're struggling to get mid-range, you're, you're struggling to get your harpoon game going and the opponent's using fireballs against you, you can make a hard read into a projectile. If you meter burn it, you get an eye beam and then you get a combo. Or you can drop the combo. There you go. There's obviously better combos you can do, but I, that's my opinion. Yep, that's the top one. That's the top. A standing <laughs> one into a lift four three. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is unsafe. The regular one is unsafe, and meter burning it, you can duck it. The beam will put, punish it. You know, it's 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 high risk, high reward. It's it's really kind of a move that you you want to predict the opponent's doing the fireball, and then you just go for it. It's a YOLO move, and it's also a combo extender. So like, it'll combo off this, and you can do your combo. You can actually, if he's not invincible when he's doing it, you can hit him out of it. Like, there's a lot of risk to it, but it's one of those moves where if you have the courage to establish that you're willing to do it, the opponent's going to be out to scared of it. Very reminiscent of Supergirl's teleport. Cool. And uh, I guess it's time for his character power, which yep. is super, super cool. It's the ability to use his jetpack. And he actually will start hovering. Now, this does not control, like, Hawkgirl's fly or, like, Ermax levitate and MKX. You actually have to hold it down, and I'll turn the meter back on. You can see the little character power meter. So that's how much jet fuel you have. And you can hold it down and hover like this, or you can kind of boost yourself. You can also instantly go down if you want. And this has many, many purposes. You can use it full screen. Let's say the opponent is shooting mid-fireballs at you, right? You can hover over. Dodge the fireballs and then do like he could do from the deep, and you can actually jump in the air, start hovering, and then punish the recovery of the fireball with your airport harpoon. Or you can use it up close in combos. Or you can do cancels, do one hit and then drop down and then continue your combo. You can also use it in your block pressure. Like, say you've done this enough, and you've conditioned the opponent to respect it, and they're kind of frozen up waiting for the rockets, you can start doing this. And then go around. You can go back. You can bait out like a, like a poke, like a down one, and actually float out of the way, and then do the air parpoon. 
So this is used offensively and defensively, but you have limited use. And kind of the specialist white mana players are going to have to judge, like, how long do they want to stay floating? Like, do they want to actually hover around and use the whole bar? Do they want to float for just a little bit, dodge something, and then immediately drop down? Do they want to use it for combos? It's definitely the most interesting thing about, like, I think, the way I think of Black Manta is, on the ground, just playing mid-range, he's a, he's a pretty simple character. He's kind of like Superman or Green Lantern. He's pretty straightforward. But then the flight is, that's the depth. There's a, a lot of layers of depth there with flight. It's gotcha. not really like anything else in the game. How long does it? How long did it take to recharge? Um, it's a pretty decent amount of time. It's it's not something where oh you know it's like you're never be able to use it again. But you can see it, it's a pretty decent amount of time. Now, can he use it before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, you can use it. So you could have like a steady rhythm of using it. You don't have to wait till it's all the way back. What moves can he do in the air with it? He can do all of his air attacks. So he can do his normal attacks, and he can do his harpoon, and he can do his shark attack. Cool. Super move? Do it. Kitchen sink stuff right there. Yeah, he, he pretty much uses all of his coolest tools in one big move. Right on. Cool. So yeah, I think Manson's going to appeal to people who want to outrange people. They want to outrange the other player. And they want to be able to deal with zoning, but they're not the type of player that wants to sit full screen and zone themselves. They want to get in, but they want to prevent the opponent from being able to get in. People are asking about the transition. Oh, the transition? Right. Well, um, it's another Black Manta, but my explanation would be this is a game about the multiverse, and that is actually the Black Manta of Earth 7191. And it is not this Black Manta, so it's perfectly canon. It makes a lot of sense. That other that other Manta is sitting out there waiting for the regime to fall, and then he's going to try to take over Atlantis. He's hoping no one will notice. It's not the same Manta. Right, you're going. You went deep on that. Yeah. That's canon. That's canon. That is Injustice 2 canon starting right now. Yeah. Cool. Let's talk about uh, his other outfits. His other outfits. Yeah. He has... Some really, really cool gear. I, I would actually say his gear is maybe, like, among my friends here, among the most popular for a, in a long time. It's some crazy stuff. You can see his jetpack changes, that's his accessory, and some really crazy lighting and helmets. And you can see his beam change color. So this is so cool when you see his intro and the lights come on and stuff. Just, it shows, yeah. It, yeah, it'll actually show. It's super, super cool. So with this loadout, I went with two abilities that buff his Manta Rays. He, you can see he has a lot of normal attacks that uses Manta Rays. He has the Manta Rays special move. So the first thing I gave him was Dark Suit, which is a buff. This will buff his Manta Rays. They will do more damage, and you can actually see the effect change. The effect just looks so cool, like the flames. At the price of, he takes a defense debuff. So he will take more damage, but his Rays do more damage. And then to complement that, I gave him Low Sweeping Manta Beam which is a really high damage, good low attack, you meter burn it, it'll actually go all the way across the screen. So, this would be a great Manta Zona, uh, this would be a great Manta Zona, this would be a great Manta loadout if you like zoning with the fireballs and you're using a lot of the beams in his combos. I thought we lost you there for a second. You can go ahead and use this, take the risk on using Dark Suit. Like, I mean, this will do pretty good shit. So, one more loadout. That's a, really, that's a good, good Manta Zoner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like this one, it's super cool. Ooh. All right, so again, different color beat. And man, that glow, that's really cool. So with this one, I gave him two really interesting space control tools. The first is his tidal wave, where you actually blow up a water tank off screen, and it'll delay and then come out. And the cool thing is, you have a brief amount of time where you can actually move while this is going on, and you can do combos with it. So the opponent's sitting there blocking, and then you actually have time to kind of go in when it's coming out. And the beater burn actually comes out the other way. So they'll come to you, you have to block behind, and then you can do combos. The second thing I gave him replaces his torpedo move with the black pearl grenade, which you will roll on the ground, and it has different distances. You can do it close, very far, and that'll trip the opponent. 
If you meter burn it, they'll actually get caught in this whirlpool, and you get a free combo. Trust me. You get a... <laughs> Alright, this time I got it. <laughs> Your combos are on point today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to try? I've never played him now. I'm good. Yeah. So, if you really like his mid-range game and uh, you want additional combos, these would be a great loadout. I think the Tidal Wave is especially cool. That's kind of if you like setups and knockdown setups and they're going to delay wake up and you predict they're going to delay wake up, you can use this and then they have to block from behind. Some super, super fun setups with uh, the Tidal Wave move. You and know, also you know I love setups. Sauce. Yeah. I mean, you're a setup guy. I'm a setup guy. God yeah. or guy? God. You're not a fine, guy. Fine. Uh, cool. Well, thank you, yeah. Steve. Uh, he has some amazing looking gear. I love yes. all the color changes. That's really, I mean, I know the fans love when that changes sort of like some of their uh, particle effects as well. So that's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. I think Nanta turned out really, really awesome. Well, that is that is the sort of rundown of Black Manta. He'll be available next week. Next I believe. week. That's right.